How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Mr. Homebrew. Now, by popular demand and by frequent request by many people, we now have the tutorial for Laka. Now, I am going to take the time to make this as easy as possible for everybody. I'm going to try to show you guys exactly what to do, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you're able to get this to boot. Now, I want to inform you of some things. Your micro SD card should be formatted as FAT32. I'm going to repeat that again. Laka needs your micro SD card to be FAT32. Make sure it's formatted as FAT32. Now, if you've been using Homebrew, most likely you do have your SD card, your micro SD card, on a FAT32 format. Now, in that regards, you can use that same micro SD card that you're using for homebrew um, for Laka. Now, I will include a link, a download link to the file you will need. You will need to unzip the folders within it onto the root of your micro SD card. So, when you download the file, it's going to be this file right here, the Laka Switch um, Arc 64 2.1 Devil 2018 0705 blah blah blah. You're going to open up that file. For me, that's what WinRAR. I'm able to open it up. Now, when I go within there, I can see there's a boot and a Laka folder. You're going to copy the boot and the Laka folder, both these two folders right here. You're going to copy them onto the root of your micro SD card. So I'm going to show you again. On your micro SD card, you're going to go into it. And this is the root of your micro SD card. You're going to copy the two folders included within the file that you downloaded. You're going to let them transfer. For me, it transfers pretty quickly. It's good to see. Now there has been a lot of work that's gone into this. To the developer that has dedicated most of his time into getting this working. I greatly do appreciate your time. I will include your name in the description. You do deserve the recognition for everything you have done. And how much you have contributed. Now that we have the boot and the lock of folders. As you can see on the root of the micro SD card right there. I'm able to properly eject my micro SD card. Remember, this micro SD card is formatted as FAT32. Now, in regards to Laka, when it comes to screen burning, that is in regards to having your system sitting there for a long period of time on the same screen, basically a still image. Um, and yeah, you will get screen burning. And that could happen on many devices. It's happened on many cell phones. I'm going to take the micro SD card that I just transferred those files onto. I'm going to put it into my Nintendo Switch here real quickly. There we go. Got it in there. Now, I'm going to take the time to plug this into my Nintendo Switch and I'm going to end up sending the payload now I could send the payload from my cell phone or I can send the payload from the computer if I was sending it from the computer I would um, also use this file that I'm going to include within this folder. There's a windows slash boot dot bat folder or file. You can launch that and then when I would plug my computer in, it would boot off of there. I'm going to do it off my cell phone for convenience purposes. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it like this the way I want to show you it. So just give me a brief moment. I 
I changed my mind. We're going to do this exactly how I wanted to demonstrate. I got the cord I need here. I'm going to plug it in to my computer. And then instead of the one that I had here, I do have my RCM jig right here inserted nicely. I'm going to hold the volume up and then the power button for about three seconds. Then I'm going to let go. I'm going to take this cord I got here. I'm going to plug it into my switch. And as long as I did RCM properly, which I did, everything has sent. No problems there. I'm going to take out my jig. I don't need it inserted anymore. This is my convenient little cord. I use this to boot um, and send my payloads from my Galaxy S7. Or sorry, Galaxy S8. We're not doing that right now. Now, attach my Joy-Con so I can have controls. Now when it comes to Wi-Fi, when I go to Wi-Fi, you're going to say, see that it says, please reboot. If you want to actually add your Wi-Fi, you're going to have to reboot there. I'm going to show you again. You're going to go over. You're going to go reboot RCM. You're going to click that. You're going to give it a brief moment. I'm going to open up this .bat file. Again, I'm going to include the download link. It's going to execute the payload automatically. There you go, lock is about to boot right up. There is no sleep mode, so you will have to power off your switch completely. Now to power down from Laka, don't hold the power button. Reboot to RCM, and then you can execute your payload that you would normally use for homebrew, and then you could shut down from there. Or when you're in RCM, after rebooting to RCM, you could hold the power button until the switch turns off, boot back into your normal S, and then put it to sleep. Anything along those lines, you'll be pretty good. Now, when it comes to screen burning, don't sit there on a still image for an hour or hours on end. Keep things moving. If you're not using Laka and you're going for lunch, don't leave it sitting there, okay? That's the best advice I can give you. I'm going to include all the download links. These are all the cords I used. This is my fancy little cord. I do send the payload from my phone. It is possible. And now that I have rebooted, if I go back into Wi-Fi, you will see that it will try to get Wi-Fi. And I'm not going to let it continue and finish that completely. I don't need everybody seeing something like that. And when it comes to getting Bluetooth working... I'm going to get on that in the next video, seeing as it did take a little while to get through all of this. Now when it comes to launching a game, load content, go to the directory that you have your game, and you should be good to go wherever you place your game kind of thing. It's your man Leonidas, aka Mr. Homebrew. You've seen it here first. The tutorial, hopefully get you guys up and running. In the end, you will be able to do some fancy things, get some nice games running, that's for sure, no question about that. Got it up and running. Yeah, I know it's not the custom theme you're used to seeing from me, but that takes a little bit more effort in that regards. We'll speak about that later. Now, do your due diligence, watch this video, be smart, don't be... Not so smart. That's the way I'm going to put it. Take care. All the best. Like, subscribe, and share.